Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I want to show you how you can make text-to-speech videos entirely for free. And you can use these on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and any other video service. Basically, if you want your video to sound like me, the human manifestation of text-to-speech, I'll show you how to do this. For text-to-speech, we are going to use a free video editing service called ClipChamp. And this also happens to be owned by Microsoft, my previous employer. Head to the website up above or you'll also find a link down below in the description. Once you land on the homepage, in the top right-hand corner, click on Try for Free. You'll need to create an account. You could use a Microsoft account, a Google account, or you could simply use your email address. This drops us on the ClipChamp start page. And in case you're wondering, ClipChamp is a very easy to use video editing program. And if you wanna learn all about how you can use ClipChamp to edit videos, check out the video up above. We're simply going to look at how you can use text to speech using ClipChamp. In the top right hand corner, let's click on create a video. This drops us in the main editing interface. Over on the left hand side, let's click on the button that says record and create. As a quick aside, you can create all types of things within ClipChamp. You can record your screen and camera at the same time, or just your camera or just your screen. At the very bottom, we have the text to speech option. Let's click on that. This opens up the main text to speech interface. In the top left hand corner, you can choose your language and you have 70 different options here. Now, it sounds like a lot, but I looked through this entire list and unfortunately, there was no Klingon. Over on the right hand side, you can choose from 170 different voices. They have male voices, female, neutral. You can choose different ages and even different accents. You can even mix and match the different languages with the different voices. So as an example, I can choose French as my language and then I could still enter an English text. So it'll sound like a French person is trying to say my text. Down below, you can also set the speed for your text. Here, you can enter your text in and then down below, you can click on the preview button. The Kevin Cookie Company Max the best cookies in the world. Now that I've inserted some text, you can also customize the way the computer says it. So let's say I want to add some additional emphasis to best. I can insert a period after best and that'll result in a long pause. The Kevin Cookie Company makes the best cookies in the world. I can also insert a comma if I want to introduce a pause, but I want it to be a little bit shorter. The Kevin Cookie Company makes the best cookies in the world. Another way to introduce a pause, you can insert an ellipsis and that too will also cause it to pause. The Kevin Cookie Company makes the best cookies in the world. Lastly, you can also insert a question mark and that'll cause the pitch to rise on the last syllable of the sentence. The Kevin Cookie Company makes the best cookies in the world. Once you're all done customizing your text to speech, let's click on the button that says save to media. And here now you'll see it in your media bin. Once again, to preview the text to speech, you can simply hover over and it'll play a preview. There are two different ways that you can add this to your timeline. If you hover over, you can click on this plus icon, or alternatively, you could simply drag and drop it onto your timeline. Now that you have your audio on the timeline, you could use ClipChamp as a full video editing program. You could add other videos, other pictures, you could add in music, and you could do whatever you want here. Or alternatively, you could just take this audio file on its own and you could bring it into other editing software. You could really do whatever you prefer. In the top right hand corner, let's click on the button that says export, then select 1080p. And here now it'll render your video as an MP4. This will include both video and audio. Once that's all done, it'll download the file to your computer. As an MP4, the file will contain both video and audio, but you could also very easily strip out the video. You can go to a website like Cloud Convert. You'll find a link up above and also down below in the description. On this website, simply drag and drop the MP4 onto the page. 
In this dropdown, you can then choose what format you want to convert this to. Here, I'll click on Audio, and then I'll select WAV. Next, you can click on Convert, and once it finishes converting, you can then click on Download. And now you'll just have the audio output from Clipchamp. All right, well, that's how you can make your own text-to-speech video. Now, I know one question that will probably come up a lot is, who owns the rights to the outputted text-to-speech, and can you use it commercially? I looked through the terms of service, and they don't mention that at all. Because this is a feature within video editing software, and you could use your outputted video for commercial projects, it seems like it's strongly implied that you have full rights and license to use the outputted text-to-speech wherever you please. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.